Hi, thanks for stopping by my channel. So, I'm Liz and I've really just started this channel because uh, I've been doing keto and as, if you're familiar with spoon theory, then you'll know that that's really linked to like chronic illness. So I've got a few chronic illnesses, um, which I'll go into a wee bit more detail about, but um, I'm hoping that I'll get to grips with this a wee bit more and I'll get more comfortable because I'm way more comfortable writing and blogging than I am speaking. Um, just feel very awkward, but I'm hoping I'll get there and I'll learn to like uh, edit videos and stuff. And I apologise for the state of me today, but for the first time since moving to this house, I actually have the house to myself. So I thought this would be a really great opportunity uh, to just try and put this wee introduction video uh, together. Because uh, yesterday I tried to do it and I had my tripod set up and I even put a bit of makeup and stuff on, but my, my sister came to the door. Um, so I thought, why not just put a video up today. Um, so I'm, as you probably noticed, I'm Scottish and I'll probably be speaking somewhere between my normal voice and my telephone voice because if I completely spoke in my normal voice, lots of you wouldn't understand a word that I was saying. So that's why I might, so for anybody that knows me that come, happens to come across uh, this channel, then I know, I know. I, I, when I hear other people that act like videos sometimes pop up on TikTok and if it's people that I know, I'm like, you didn't sound like that. You do not sound like that. But yeah, this is why. Um, nobody would understand me. Uh, so try and be as uh, proper spoken as I can be. So yeah, I'm doing the channels well because I've found since starting keto that YouTube channels have really been a godsend. So I have particularly enjoyed Keto with Sammy. Um, that's a US channel. Uh, she's really great. I really recommend you check her out. Um, really, uh, just, it's just such a lovely person um, as well as really helpful and informative. Um, and another channel that I've quite liked in the UK is Keto Fitness Club. So I actually made some of their recipes. Uh, I made a really lovely courgette keto bread, which oh, so nice. Um, so yeah, I recommend that you check them out. So what led me to keto? So in 2019, I was diagnosed with this uh, rare, it's a progressive skin and muscle wasting disease. So I'd been ill uh, really for a few years leading up to this, but it all kind of came to my head in 2019. Um, I'd lost almost five stone in two months um, without trying. <laughs> so, and then I was just basically in bed. So I got a diagnosis in 2019, uh, April, of dermatomyositis. Um, it's, I know, quite a mouthful. Uh, so if you, I'll probably, speak, when I mention it again, I'll say DM, it's much easier. Uh, so I got diagnosed with that and what they do when you first get diagnosed is they give you like high dose steroids because they have to get the inflammation down really fast and try and suppress your immune system. Um, so the hope is that they'll give you those meds and then they'll switch you or, well, or include um, other medications that suppress your immune system in the hope that you can then reduce the steroids because steroids really are not a great thing uh, to be on long term. So they first started me with mycophenolate and it really didn't work um, because I developed a complication of the DM, which is interstitial lung disease. So the mycophenolate wasn't helping that. They then added, they took me off mycophenolate and started me with rituximab infusions. So this is a bit like chemo um, and you get it twice every six months. Um, I think it's known as rituxan in the US. So they started me on that, which did help a bit. Um, it did, I did see some improvement with muscles, um, but it really wasn't doing anything to help my lungs. They were getting progressively worse. So they then had to start me on another drug, tacrolimus or Prograf, or Prograf or something I think it's called, um, as well as the rituximab and the steroids. So I've been taking those, but the problem with those meds are that the steroids and the tacrolimus can really mess with your blood sugars and I've now got type 2 diabetes. 
So I know. Um, so really for me, I, I thought, well, that's more medication. And let me tell you, the medication for di the diabetes is horrendous. So they put me on metformin and you cannot leave the house with these things. You really have to stay near the loo. That's how bad it is, honestly. There's, it's supposed to calm after about four weeks, but I've been on these two months and nothing's easing up. I've actually just reduced. I've decided just to take one a day instead of two a day at the minute, just to give me some peace. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, also it's, I thought, well, I can control the diabetes maybe a bit more than any of the other illnesses. Um, and so hopefully I can come off the diabetes meds and get that blood sugar under control by diet. So I did some research, looked up some stuff, and I really decided to settle on low carb. Um, and then I just went into keto. So this is this has been since January. So in January, I was 18 stone. Uh, I'm five foot 11, just want to add that. Five foot 11, but I'm 18 stone, and I am now 17 stone one. So I'm one pound away from losing my first stone. Now, some people on keto, you know, have much quicker weight loss results. It happens a lot quicker. But I think for me as well, I'm really happy with how it's going because it's quite hard to lose the weight with the steroids. Um, so I'm quite happy with how it's going. As long as it keeps coming down, uh, then I'm really happy. In the first few weeks, I think I had like about a seven pound loss and then it's just kept stalling for weeks and weeks and weeks. But I kept with it because I thought, it's going to work. I'm doing it right. Uh, I'm not cheating. So uh, something's going to happen. And then it did. It, it really, it dropped. Um, and also, it actually dropped. Uh, so with the meds, they had just assumed that I'd gone into early menopause. So I hadn't really had a period since almost two years. Um, but since doing keto, I actually got a period last month. So as much as I hate the things, it's it just made me feel a wee bit more normal. So I'm really quite interested to see if I get another one. Um, but as soon as I got that period, the weight just dropped again. Um, so what it tends to do is it will drop and then it will go back up a pound or two and then it fluctuate between a few pounds and then before it comes back down again. So I've been at 17.1, I've went up to 17.2, 17.3, 17.2, 17.3, So I'm hoping that next week it will drop down to the 17. Um, but it's been really useful. So I keep a notebook I have done since the start. So I'm now in week 13 um, of doing low carb keto. And I keep a track, a daily. So I weigh every day. I know it's not for everyone. But I weigh every day. And then I also have a weekly tally. So it just lets me see what's happening. Sorry, my hand's shaking. It's these meds as well. Make my hand shake. Um, but yeah, it's been really useful to see just how the weight is coming up and down every day and then where it looks like weekly. So I'll, sh I'll share these in a future video um, and go into that in a wee bit more detail. So I use the Carb Manager app. Um, it's free, uh, although I think I did pay to have the premium, whatever. But you can just use it free. Um, so I track my macros on that. So I track... Um, I keep my carbs at 20 net carbs or under and my calories at 1,600 at the minute. Um, so it's really good just for that. And you can scan stuff in, barcodes, and, or you can type stuff in, take pictures. So it's really quite good. Um, and yeah, just really, since doing keto, so I regularly get my bl bloods tested just because uh, all the meds that I'm on and stuff and just to see how the inflammation's going. So I had my, my bloods that I got done last month. I actually met with my consultant uh, last week and he said that my bloods are the best they have been since being diagnosed two years ago. So, I mean, it could very well be that it's the tacrolimus and the, the, the kicking in and stuff's happening with the meds, but I really do think it's no coincidence that everything's looking a bit better since I started keto. I even used to have these, um, so I've had quite a few breast cancer scares just because I've had uh, solid lumps in my breast that I've had to have biopsied and all the rest. 
um, which luckily turned out just to be um, hard bumps. <laughs> um, but they have got a name for it, but it's a really big, long name. And I'm not even going to try and say it. Um, but they've gone. And they've been there for long before even I got ill. So that's interesting that that's happened as well. So I'm quite excited that there's been some improvement with certain things and I hope it just continues. So that's just really what I aim to do with this channel because it's hard enough losing the weight. But losing the weight when you're dealing with illness as well can be quite hard. Um, you know, you'll have days when, like last night, I had zero energy, zero energy. It was a horrible fatigue and I had to eat. I felt like I just needed sugar. Like I could have cried, I was so tired. I felt like my energy was in minus. But, so I had two Misfit bars, which technically I got them because they're supposed to be really good for keto. But I think there is still some stuff in there that shouldn't be there. I don't think they're just as good as other stuff, but I had two of those last night. I really didn't need to, I could have done one, but I had two. And then I checked my blood sugar a couple of hours later and it was really low. So um, it, doesn't seem to, it didn't seem to spike the sugar levels, but uh, it'll be interesting to see. It'll be interesting to see next, I think next month I get my diabetes bloods done. So hopefully the diet alone will have just reduced my sugar and I come off the horrible tablets. Um, but I have been checking randomly with the blood sugar monitor and the, the bloods, the range has been normal. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if it's went back to a normal range and not even just pre-diabetic. So yeah, I want to share how I'm getting on my keto. I'll probably do some what I eat in a day videos, um, maybe some shopping hauls, um, especially now that shielding's coming to an end. I can get back out to the shops and... And like I said, a lot of the keto is, that I see on YouTube, a lot of it is US-based. So it's good whenever I come across a, a, a shopping hall that's been like somewhere local, um, then I really enjoy that. So I'll probably do some of those, um, some meals, things that I'm cooking. And yeah, probably just also track just how, it's, how my chronic illnesses are doing with this. Uh, I'll be happy to answer questions and have a chat with you um, and I also welcome any suggestions that you might have for videos, uh, open to that. So yeah, um, thanks again for stopping by and I look forward to future videos. Hopefully I'll be better dressed. Okay, thank you. Bye.